When you're part of the creative business, sometimes creating artwork might be the easiest thing to do. After all, usually it's either putting together that website for your buddy, or that collage of you and your significant other, or even a cool drawing of something you just had to make and share it on Facebook. If you have a career job doing this for a living, you may not necessarily worry a lot about planning out your creative work. I'm here to tell you today, that method is for novices. If you really want your work to shine professionally, especially if you're in the design and development field, it's good strategy to plan your work. How to do that, you might ask? It's all about project management. The best pieces of work you see on TV or on the internet take a serious amount of time to develop. Learning the steps of project management is key to guarantee success in the creative business. There are five steps of project management. The initiation, the planning, the execution, the monitoring, and the closing. Some businesses use varying steps of project management that could be more than the standard. In this video, we'll be going through the step-by-step -step process on how project management is done in web development. For example purposes, we'll use a company name, Acrobat. No relation to the program Adobe Acrobat and the name being used in this video is only for educational purposes. All rights of the Acrobat name are to Adobe Incorporated. With this in mind, let's get started. The first step in the process is the proposal. This part is where you find out what the nature of the project is. What does it mean? A project will likely fail if no one knows the overall goal of what it's all about. An example of this can be a website. Let's say Acrobat comes to you with an idea to create a website based on their company that does business in providing urban clothes. They want you to make them a website in an e-commerce fashion the same way Nike and Reebok handles their online businesses. The introduction of the project comes in to lay out exactly what the purpose of the project is, in the case of the website, to make an online clothing store. In the proposal, there will be a time estimate to figure out how much time a project will end up taking. For advertisements, websites, and programs, usually it will take months to develop, plan, and produce. It's good strategy to have an idea already in mind. The same goes for a cost estimate. A calculated total of the entire project is necessary to determine billable hours and accessories, such as software, to go along with the price. In order to get an understanding on how the project is to be set up, there needs to be a project objective. Once the client comes up with a plan on what they would like to have done, both parties need to agree on the idea of what the company asks for and what can be done by the service. If Acrobat came to a service and asked for an interactive website, you would provide specific details on how it would get done. This method is done so that the client can understand the tools used, the time it would take to get it done, and who will be involved during the process. The more detail is provided, the better an understanding on what is going on. This step is where the information needs to be put in writing. This is where the overview comes in. The stages of the planning can be in a flowchart, citing the idea of where to go from start to finish. In the case of a website, it's good to provide initial sketches of different style looks to present to the client. A meeting would be called to discuss the designs and to go through a process of where the team decides to go with for the production stage. When this is determined, the project manager would then have to decide on a team to work on this project. In digital media, there can be a number of groups dedicated for each part of the project. The design group's task is to provide the graphics and brainstorm different ideas and styles for the project. The developers are there to provide the web details into making the site dynamic with the use of web coding such as HTML5, CSS3, jQuery, JavaScript, and some form of content management systems. The management group would be responsible for gathering the information needed by the client, and that group would then sign off on the contract to confirm the requirements of the project. 
The support group is there to provide troubleshooting and monitoring in case there are any problems that might occur during the process. Since the website will be developed in an e-commerce fashion, it is necessary to use web authoring software to complete this task. Usually Adobe products are best to use, especially Dreamweaver. It is also recommended to use Adobe Photoshop or Illustrator for graphic advertisement purposes and Adobe Flash or any other authoring program for the animation advertisements and a possible user interface for smooth interaction when scrolling through the items. There are other third-party alternates. Software is key when you're dealing with digital media project production. A schedule to determine the time each stage will be done is recommended. For a website, this usually is planned out in a way where a draft is done to provide an example on how the website would look like. Client inspection is key to knowing where they stand on the workings of the project. Is it exactly the way they envision it? If not, the teams have to make adjustments to whatever is missing or needs to be added. When the client signs off on the design, the service moves on to the budget. When everything is worked out to a final agreement, the pricing of the project comes into play. An estimate is created by the sales team to provide a definite price on the entire project based on the level of work. Once the deal is finalized, it's time to get to work. After the planning is set and everyone is on the same page, the inner workings of the project can begin. The design and development teams would start to work on providing the graphics and the building of the site. If Acrobat asks them for advertisements to be included, the design team can use clothing materials to show a possible sale of that particular apparel. The designers must be aware of the theme that the company represents. Fonts, color schemes, and layout styles all must be noted when providing graphics. The development team must do the same for the site. If there is the possibility that a mobile site and or an application is asked by the client, the same rules would apply. During this time of production, everything may not go as planned. What if someone is sick? What if there's a delay or an unexpected error that happens? Time is always a factor, and that's why adequate time is needed to have projects done in a sufficient amount of time in case the unexpected happens. If the client wants to push for a shorter amount of time to review work, it is best to collaborate with them on where to go from there. You want to assure them that in order to strive for the best possible work, there needs to be some leniency with the process. After all, no human is perfect. Communication is key for any sort of understanding when it comes to getting things done. It is best to note all of the tasks being done. This is to ensure the client knows the status report on anything that's happening, especially if something goes wrong. It pays to have multiple checkpoints during the project to evaluate the progress of each task. This is called a progress assessment. Each task needs to be checked for any possible errors. If there are any, discussion is required to determine what the problem is and how to fix it. Everyone should be on the same page in solving the problem in order to ensure quality work. There may be a time when a problem just can't be solved, and you might have to find a way to go in another direction. If that is the case, some parts of the work may have to be restarted. When restarting, there can be a possible chance that the problem that occurred before can be solved by a possible misstep that was overlooked. Otherwise, you want to keep trying to solve the problem as time permits until it is done correctly. Any sort of error or nuisance that occur should be noted for future reference in case this were to happen again sometime in the future. After the project task is finally completed, the errors are noted and fixed, and when the progress has gone smoothly, the closing of the project occurs. When the client approves of the item or items, a final inspection or walkthrough will take place. 
This will determine if everything is up to speed and whether the design and the layout was exactly as they envisioned. Any leftover issues that may occur can be fixed before the advertisement, software, or website goes live. In terms of a website, a breakdown can occur to answer the following questions. Will this Acrobat site be able to handle the oncoming traffic flowing at once when a big sale occurs? When site maintenance occurs, will it be easy to handle or will the client need to have someone come in and fix it? And when any new items come in, will the content management be effective in handling the company's continuing warehouse items? All of these questions will need to be answered in order to ensure the company will have no problems with the site. At this stage, the deal is finalized. A meeting with the team and the client members will take place to discuss final thoughts and official closing of the deal that was made. This will also close the contract that was given earlier in the process and an invoice will be made when the project is finished. Should the project be deemed a success, possible discussions of future projects might take place. There you have it, the five steps of project management. If you followed these guidelines on planning a great piece of creative work, even if it's something other than web development, it will make life just a little bit easier. Also, communication is a big deal if you want to avoid a total meltdown, you know, to satisfy clients. Project management is good to understand as long as you have these three traits, patience, communication, and preparedness.